the soil, whether it be the region of the forest, plains, pueblos, or mesas. He fits into the landscape, for the hand that fashioned the continent also fashioned the man for his surroundings. He once grew as naturally as the wild sunflowers. He belongs just as the buffalo belongs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
surely will. Then, act with courage. The land is sacred. These words are at the core of your being. The land is our mother. The rivers our blood. Take our land away and we die. It is easy to be brave from a distance. I have seen that in any great undertaking, it is not enough for a man to depend simply upon himself. It is no longer good enough to cry peace. We must act peace, live peace, and live in peace. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. When a man moves away from nature, his heart becomes hard. The idea of a full dress for preparation for a battle comes not from the belief that it will add to the fighting ability. The preparation is for death, in case that should be the result of the conflict. Every Indian wants to look his best when he goes to meet the Great Spirit. So the dressing up is done whether an imminent danger is an oncoming battle or a sickness or injury at times of peace. We must protect the forest for our children, grandchildren, and children yet to be born. We must protect the forest for those who can't speak for themselves, such as the birds, animals, fish, and trees. Being Indian is an attitude, a state of mind, a way of being in harmony with all things and all beings. It is allowing the heart to be the distributor of energy on this planet. To allow feelings and sensitivities to determine where energy goes. Bringing aliveness up from the earth and from the sky. Putting it in and giving it out from the heart. The moon is not shamed by the barking of dogs. Digital, Digital Park, park. Music. music is a universal language.